Hi, it's John. Now we're just coming into Winterbourne Stoke on the 350. No, on the 303. Now uh, here's Joe's cafe. Joseph's. Nice place to have a little cup of tea sometimes. This is quite popular. I don't know whether he has to play any ground rent, but I uh, hope he doesn't. But, uh, he's, he's, he's providing his facility, a lot of people use, use him. Now we come in here, Winterbourne Stoke, 40 miles an hour here, it says. Now Winterbourne Stoke is special because it's got a speed camera. And it's quite good because it's got it written on the road as well. So if you're not sure whether it's 30 or 40, it's written on the road as well. And it is actually 40, I think. Once I, I was coming this way, and the speed camera went off, it's, it's pointing at you from the other side. It wasn't me, it was somebody on the other side sitting on it. Oh, enough blinding flash. It was, you know, a whole load of them. Now then, here's the petrol here. Erco. I have used that before. One, I think they do auto gas, or they used to do auto gas there. Um, and I used to have an auto gas, so I had an escort that was converted for auto gas or petrol. Um, the trouble with auto gas is you've got no engine lubrication at all. Well, you, it, like through the petrol, through the gas, you don't get any. Whereas with petrol, you get a little bit of lubrication, and with diesel, you get a fantastic amount of lubrication. That's why diesels run so so long, that's my theory anyway. So, um, it did burn the valves up a bit on the Escort. It was still running, but it's running in a fashion. Now, this is my main bit. We're coming up here now to a big bit of roadworks from the 303, where it crosses the 360, the Salisbury Road. And this roundabout causes quite a bit of congestion on the bottleneck. Well this is a bottleneck because it's single carriageway road on a road which has quite a lot of dual carriageways. So they don't want to put a dual carriageway through past Stonehenge, presumably because it would spoil the view. And they don't want to put a tunnel in. Um, probably too expensive, I don't know why. Here we are, Stonehenge it says. World Heritage Site. But what they've decided to do is massively upgrade this roundabout. So I don't know what it's going to be like today. It's, it's about, uh, about a month since I was here, I think. So um, we'll have to see. But there was great big trees on there, and they, they're all gone. Which is a pity. Your mud on road. This is news, this is. This is what I thought about do this a while back. This is news. Give way, 40 miles an hour. They go in the middle of the road, nice jack. They haven't done much yet. Oh, oh I could have got through there. Oh, man. The people that don't indicate when they're coming up around the back of the paint. So that's uh, devised in shrewd up that way. This is. Uh, this way, this is the road past Stonehenge. And it looks like they're, get, they're in the process of levelling off the roundabout at the moment. So they're going to make that area that was roundabout into hard standing, so that can be a road, and then they'll be, I don't know, they'll be running some slip roads off of there, I think. I think they'll be making the whole thing bigger. Now this is where it gets really congested. Can you see all that traffic coming the other way? You, you get like a tidal flow. Certain times of the day there'll be a lot coming one way. Certain times there'll be a lot going the other way. Like it's Friday, Friday today, so these all these people are off to the West Country for the weekend. They're having an early break. And normally the sort of Friday rush hour starts 
in the um, in the evening. It seems to start earlier today. But I don't know whether anybody really would be going away for the weekend because it's so cold. Anyway, right, oh, oh I better, better just put, leave the camera on for Stonehenge. I'll I'll it over towards Stonehenge Way. Now there's a lovely little place up there where you can park overnight up this up this um, old track. I've never done it myself but I see lots of people doing it. Now then, can you see Stonehenge? I can't really look at the camera because I've got to come straight on the road. Um, but it is over there. It's not going to move, is it? I think we past it now. Right. Bye for now.